So in order to do a proper gear check, we want to do the same thing over and over. However you decide how to do your gear check, it doesn't matter whether you prefer to start on one side and work the way down, and then start on the other side and work the way down, or whether you do it on a particular order. Whatever you're comfortable with, my recommendation is do it the exact same way over and over and over. And that's how you catch things, or that's how you catch potential problems down the road, is by doing this gear check, your little uh, ritual before every single jump. So how I personally like to do my gear check is I check the three ring system. So I make sure that the three rings are on top of each other, that they're not inverted. I also check to make sure that the cutaway cable is where it should be in this little housing uh, compartment on the back of the riser. And I also want to make sure that that locking loop that's holding the parachute, my main on, with the three ring system is not worn and ready to break. And I do that on both sides. Three ring system, cutaway cables where it should be, locking loop is in good condition. I also make sure that my RSL is attached and that it's not compromising the three ring system. I want to make sure that my handles are where they should be, ready to go. You can even take the extra step and pull out the handles and see if they're operating correctly. You also want to check the harness. So that, that includes the chest strap, the leg straps, this side lateral here. You want to make sure everything's in good condition. No crazy X's are trying to kill me. <laughs> uh, cuts frays, battery acid, anything sketchy. I want to make sure the harness is in good condition. Then I flip it over. I lift up the reserve flap here. And I want to make sure that the <clears throat> reserve closing pin is seated all the way across the, the grommet. That the reserve closing loop is not worn and torn and ready to break, that it's in good condition. You notice on mine here, this little doohickey here, we call that a rigor seal. And that just indicates that a rigor, which happens to me, me in this case, was the last person to pack the reserve, so it hasn't been tampered with. If I were to visit other drop zones, this is something that they're going to check to make sure it's in good condition. I also make sure before I go to jump that my main closing pin is seated correctly halfway. If I'm still showing color on my window. That means that my pilot chute is primed or cocked, ready to go. That the re uh, main closing loop is in good condition as well, that it's not cut, frayed, ready to break. I also check that the bridle is nice and hidden, that it's not exposed at all, and that my pilot chute is nice and flat and also hidden. You can see that it's exposed a little bit, so before I jump I will hide away as much of that pilot chute as possible and make sure it's nice and airworthy, free fly friendly. And one final thing. If I were going to jump, I would activate my AAD by pressing it three times every single time the, the light would come on. And that's how I do my gear check. And like I said, I do it the exact same way every single time. And it's just my little ritual before I get on board to make sure that this is good to go.